we're back on Morning Trade Live. The Consumer Electronics Show is underway in Las Vegas, and here's how the big chip names are trading this morning after NVIDIA and AMD both unveiled new products in Vegas. Last night, we've got NVIDIA rallying up 1.7%. Broadcom is three-tenths higher, and Intel is also up about half a percent with its own uh, announcement as well. But we've got AMD, despite uh, coming out and unveiling a new chip, down 2.5% in trade today. Uh, which is a little bit of a split picture across our major chip stocks this morning. So this is uh, the major focus of the morning trade. Uh, joining us now for a closer look is Marley Caden. And of course, uh, Jensen Huang unveiled quite a bit of news, uh, especially new toys for the tech world during his keynote speech. A lot of news headlines to get across, but just talk us through some of the major sort of takeaways and why we're perhaps seeing this reaction in the stock today. Yeah, we are seeing a positive reaction. We're up 1.7 percent. Good morning to you, Sam. You know, but like you said, the presentation was a part of a refresher of, of some of the technologies the company's been working on for the past couple of years. But we also did get some pretty significant headlines. I think the one you're going to see and hear about the most is the announcement of Alpamayo. This is its family of open source reasoning models that are designed to guide autonomous vehicles through difficult driving situations. Now, what they're saying is that this new Alpamaya system from NVIDIA is capable of approaching driving more like a human being would. It says that the model breaks down unexpected driving situations into a smaller set of problems before finding the safest path forward. And at each step of the way, the model can explain its full reasoning. There's a sister model named AlpaSim that will allow developers to do closed loop training for driving scenarios that are rarely encountered in real life so that they can be prepared for any kind of scenario. Another big part of this announcement is Jensen Wong announcing that Mercedes will be the first vehicle to ship with NVIDIA's entire AV stack, including Alpamayo. It will be the Mercedes-Benz CLA, the 2025 version, will be the first to ship. But he added that their vision is, quote, someday every single car, every single truck will be autonomous. And it's important to know this is the first entire stack uh, endeavor for NVIDIA, this Alpamayo. A Mayo function. And Jensen Wong also said that he has no doubt that autonomous driving will be the largest robotics industry ever. And this will launch in Q1 in the U.S., Q2 in Europe, and Q3 or 4 and or 4, he said, in Asia. So that's coming very soon. Also, another announcement that Ava's 4D LiDAR technology will be included as a part of the Alpamayo stock. We've both interviewed uh, CEO Saroosh Salahian on the network before. So a big deal for Ava that their LiDAR will be a big part of these commercial vehicle OEMs. And any of them that have selected NVIDIA's autonomous vehicle architecture. So another big announcement there. The next other big announcement, I think, and I think you teased it as well, and have talked about it with Joe Mazzola, um, is that they're launching their Rubin uh, platform. The NVIDIA is launching their Vera Rubin platform named after a female American astronomer who discovered dark matter. That's comprising six new chips that designed to deliver one AI supercomputer. So this will be the new version of the Grace Blackwell. They're going to, and uh, Jensen Wong says, it's arriving at exactly the right moment as AI computing demand for both training and inference is going through the roof. This is a huge development. Also another side announcement, Core, we will be adding Rubin to its AI cloud platform. That's expected in the second half of 26. And Core, we've is expected to be among the first cloud providers to deploy the NVIDIA Vera Rubin platform, Sam. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what the market wanted to hear as to why we're seeing this performance today. I mean, chips are on track, demand is strong. I mean, something new and also more partnerships. So, so let's see. Let's see how it all materializes. Thanks so much for getting us across some of the major developments from CES. Let's trade it now with Tim Bigham, option strategist at Pilot AI. Very good morning to you, Tim, and a happy new year to you. Uh, what's your example trade today for NVIDIA? Yeah, absolutely. Happy New Year to you as well, Sam. And looking at NVIDIA, certainly a great, you know, suite of products keeps coming out here. It's really what is the cost? How can they monetize it at the end of the day? Certainly the autonomous driving eventually, right, will be uh, something that they can take advantage of. But that's going to take decades to even uh, fulfill on that. I think the Rubin is probably uh, more uh, pertinent to earnings over the next 
last four quarters or so. I think, uh, you know, they're going to be continuing in this kind of, uh, you know, race with all the other chip makers to build these uh, better chips, if you will, which is a benefit to the end user, but it's at a cost to the companies building them. So I'm looking at NVIDIA from a uh, stock perspective on the price charts. It's actually been an underperformer to the semiconductor uh, holders ETF, SMH, over the past two months in a fairly large way. It had previously been the one leading the charge. It's the biggest component. So I think NVIDIA just struggling here with the valuations. The fact that, uh, you know, the CapEx they need to develop these products is large indeed here. So I'm just positioning kind of for a bad hair day, taking advantage of low implied volatility, doing a uh, reverse diagonal trade, going out and buying the February 20th 170 puts, selling the January 16th traditional 175 puts, paying a little bit over two bucks for that trade. Plus, I have three weeks in the interim to continue to hedge the chop wood, as I call it, to bring in more premium. Just really waiting for a bad hair day on the chip sector and NVIDIA to take advantage, see IV go up, and this trade uh, structure will benefit greatly from that. Okay, an example trade us for us for NVIDIA, trading at 190 and change right now. We are up uh, over 1%. Thoughts on the overall market to today, Tim? Obviously, as we continue to see this rally extending, a little bit of a uh, softer, more sort of bumpy start for the Dow and the Russell, but it looks like we've um, kicked up a notch right now. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think we're starting to see uh, certainly uh, the uh, kind of more value names take hold and lead the charge a little bit. It had been all the uh, higher beta, high growth, the NVIDIAs of the world that led the rally up until towards the end of last year. So I think 2026 will be more of those kind of value names, the uh, low beta names that will have to start to perform here. Otherwise, this market might run into a little bit of trouble or at least sideways action. I kind of like lean on some of the dividend stocks here as well given the fact that we have had such a great three-year run i think uh, just probabilities favor more of a sideways market going forward certainly given valuations and interest rates that on the long end are still stubbornly high okay good stuff well, always appreciate it thanks so much uh, for that tim yeah. we'll catch you later tim bigham option strategist at pilot ai coming up